Hey everybody, so before I head out the door for that run that I'm getting ready for, I thought we'd take a second and just talk about some recovery slides or sandals. And this is something that I wanted to talk about for a while. I I actually bought the Hoka Aura recovery slides two years ago, and then right after purchasing those, I went ahead and purchased the Ufus AHA uh, slides as well. And so I've been using them for a couple of years, and it was out of necessity that I bought them. The original, my original purchase was again the Hoka's, and that's because I had just injured myself. And you know, after you know working on a training block, I was training for a half marathon at the time. Got toward the end of it, and lo and behold, you know, I got injured and couldn't couldn't continue. And it was so painful that you know I was I was really struggling just to get around my house. Going up and down the stairs was a nightmare, and I had realized that you know wearing just my regular old running shoes around the house felt a little bit more comfortably and that's when I turned to and found the uh, recovery slide um, option and it's really been working out well for me the last couple of years and since I posted those videos two years ago a common question that I still get today um, because they are both two of my more popular videos on the channel is uh, what are the differences between the two? And I, I never really took the time to do a comparison between those two. So just, just quickly, I thought we would talk about that here today because one of my goals for 2023 is to stay injury free. And a part of that is going to be, you know, the recovery process, whether it's out from a long run or if I happen to do tweak something, I want to be able to recover quickly from that. And while neither one of these uh, recovery sandals is going to, in my opinion, help you necessarily recover faster. It might help you recover just a little bit more comfortably. So I'm going to grab them here. So, and again, these are both two years old. Um, the biggest difference for me between these two, because these are very similar in style, right? And I, I love this style for myself uh, because sometimes if I want to just run out the door, I might have socks on. I can just slip my feet into these. Or if I want to wear these to the gym, use them as a shower shoe or even wear them out at the beach, you can do that as well. So for me, they're, they're really versatile and very comfortable. Both, both styles work great for both of those things or all of those types of activities you might want to use them for. Uh, but the biggest difference is, is while they're both very, very soft and super comfortable on foot, the Hoka's are a little less soft. So there's a little bit more structure to that foam than Ufus. Ufus for me is definitely a softer, more cushioned uh, sandal to wear. And along those same lines, I think probably right in line with that uh, is with the Hoka's, they also feel like they have a bit more of an arch support there. So if you're in need of arch support, I think you might find the Hoka or recovery slides a little bit more suited to what you're looking for. Now, the difference between these, and I wear both these, I have either one of those, one, of, one or the other on my feet every day, I think for the last two years. Uh, but it really depends on what I need on that day. Now, I've had a lot of trouble breaking that injury cycle. So my first real serious running injury was two years ago when I bought these. And ever since then, I've struggled to break that injury cycle. It seems like I get, I've been injured each year since then for, you know, a pretty significant amount of time where it took me a while to recover. And both of these have really come in handy. The Hoka Aura Recovery Slides I found to work best when I need that extra arch support. So if I'm having knee issues or if I'm having some ankle issues and I really need to be a little bit more steady on my feet that way, these seem to do a really good job. And for the Ufus, if I'm having any kind of sore, like you know, arches or metatarsal issues, things along those lines, these feel super comfortable for me to wear there. So I think if you're looking for the most comfort Maybe you're on your feet all day and you're in a pair of dress shoes or your ladies are in heels and you want to get home and just put on something comfortable to help you relax. Ufus is probably going to be what you're going to look for. I know Kim struggles with some metatarsal pain. In fact, she goes in. I'm going to share it with you. I don't, I don't know. I'll probably have to let her know that I'm putting this on YouTube. But she goes in and has to get injections. And they only last about four to six months. And the one that she reaches for is Ufus because it's much more comfortable for her to get around the house when she's wearing these than it is wearing the Hoka or recovery slide. So again, if you're looking for something to reduce specific pain, especially on the bottom of your foot, I think Ufus is probably going to be the way to go. And if you're looking for a sandal that you might want to wear outdoors maybe a little bit more, I would probably go with the Hoka. Uh, or recovery slides because they just seem a little better suited to me with the structure of that outsole, slightly different foam underfoot, 
again, a little bit more dense. I think they're going to be just a bit more durable for outdoor use. And that's kind of how I've been using them. And I've used these both at the gym as shower shoes, but I've taken the Aura recovery slides out to Lake Michigan. I have had these on at a local beach here, but again, I think the in terms of durability that you might uh, like the Hoka or recovery slides just a little bit better cost wise you know they retail for about the same amount of money and they really haven't changed much since i purchased them two years ago i think the hokas were about five bucks cheaper at that time so i think they were around 55 us dollars and the aura recover the um, aha ufus aha slides ran just about 60 us dollars and i don't think that that really has changed in terms of price although i did see uh, on hoka's website that you can buy this version of their um or recovery slides on sale right now for about 40 US dollars. So that's that's definitely a buy and worth consideration. So it's $20 cheaper than Ufus at this point because these are still running for that $59.60. All right, now that we've talked about that, I'm gonna head out and get my run done and I'm gonna have one of these on my feet when I get back. So yesterday we were talking about safety and the types of things that we can do to keep ourselves visible and safe so that we're not uh, hit by any kind of oncoming traffic or any other dangers that might be lurking out there on the run. Um, so if you guys haven't checked that video out, even if you don't watch the video, I think it's worth checking out the comments because we had some really good responses from people that, you know, some of those things I'm going to definitely be implementing because I don't know about you, but I've been running long enough to, uh, that I've had some pretty close calls out there. Uh, pretty scary, uh, honestly, where I've had people that have just blown through stop signs and no regard or no, they, they didn't know that I was there and it came really close to something that could have been horrific. And today, speaking of safety, uh, it is at the freezing mark. I do have the Hokamok 5s on because I wanted to go out and give those a run today. I'm doing some speed work. That's why I have them on my feet and gonna be doing some intervals. And I also wanted to you know, do a top three video, as I mentioned yesterday, of my daily trainers uh, for this year. And it's been a little while since I've been in the Hokamok 5, so I didn't think it was fair to make a decision until I'd put a few more miles in them more recently. The last time I ran in them, it was summer and it was on a track and the uh, New Balance Rebel V3s and the A6 Nova Blast 3s I've had out in wintry types of conditions. So I'm gonna check it out and see, you know, see how these do on what I hope is not too slick, but it is right at that freezing mark. So I'm a little bit concerned that no matter what shoe I have on my feet, it might be a little bit dangerous out there at the park, which is where I'm headed. And safety, 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 because I know there won't be any traffic out there and I'll have a straight shot basically down the road for me to be able to run my intervals. But just in case, just in case that the uh, Hulkabot 5s aren't doing it for me, I brought the uh, Tecton X. Now these have a, you know, they have a bit better uh, outsole. They've got, you know, they have that mega, Vigum Mega Grip or Vibram Mega Grip, however you pronounce it. Uh, which does a pretty good job sticking to things like the pavement, especially uh, pavement that might be wet. Now, no shoe is going to do well on ice unless you have spikes or something like that, so, you know, specifically designed, um, you know, for that purpose. But these will do a little better, I'm sure, than the Hokamok 5 should I need it. So these are my backup shoe to run some intervals today. All right, let's head out to the park. So we're here, but the snow is coming down and it, because it is freezing, I think I'm going to uh, maybe put on a buff around my neck a little bit to kind of keep that cold off. Now that I'm all bundled up, I'm gonna go get my run in. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Run Tall with Tim.